For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. So here's an ethical question for you. Is it right to actively, you know, try to cost the government money? I mean to initiate that process against the government. I'm not talking about defending yourself in court necessarily. That does cost the government money, but they're the ones choosing to make you be in court. I'm thinking more along the lines of suing the government or proposing 20 different House bills and forcing the State House to go through the expense of hearing them all and the time. In my own actions, I've sort of fallen on both sides of this ethical question. Uh, prior to 2006, I didn't have any qualms about uh, you know ha uh, getting a House bill submitted. I had two bills submitted around 2006, and I went to the hearings and tried to take them through the process and turn them into law. And later on, uh, one of the liberal activists in New Hampshire, Chaz Prohl, kind of called me out on it, and he said, well, you know, that's costing us $1,500 $1, per hearing, or, or rather, per bill. And, you know, I have to say I listened to Chaz at that time and uh, took his advice and quit submitting bills because I thought, well, I really don't want to add expense. To, I don't want to create taxpayer expense. That's not really what I'm here for. On the other hand, when, when you're in a conflict uh, to be a more worthy opponent, you're supposed to kind of cost your enemy resources. The uh, the ethical uh, dilemma is sufficiently severe that I just, uh, I've been kind of paralyzed into inaction since 2006 when it comes to action that costs the government money. The most I've done is sort of, you know, with uh, my feet dragging and kind of reluctantly, uh, I have kind of reluctantly, you know, sued the government of Nashua back in, I guess, 2011 after its police arrested me for, uh, well, I'm still not sure exactly what. Some people say it was for walking backwards at a Joe Biden event. But anyway, although I didn't have any qualms about beating them in court defensively, the uh, idea of suing them uh, over the years that followed the initial filing of the lawsuit, I became increasingly uneasy ethically about the whole idea that we might end up, well, what would I do if there was a monetary settlement and I was going to be getting money from the government of Nashua? If that were to happen... Would it be ethical for me to take such money? Would it even be ethical for me to redirect it somewhere? Would that be an act of aggression against taxpayers? I don't know. But again, in my actions though, over the last 10 years, I have sort of just tried to err on the side of caution and generally not do anything that would cost taxpayer expense. Having said that, this gets even more complicated, there is always a part of me that wonders... You know, should we automatically treat the taxpayer as though she is a bystander, a good guy? Should we automatically consider it an act of aggression against them if we weaken the people who are tormenting them by costing them money? Sure, the government that torments them will want to come after them for more money if we cost that government more money. But, uh, especially in the federal case, you know, the taxpayer, the federal taxpayer, who's voluntarily turning over forms and some of their income, to what extent is that person really a bystander? And to what extent are they actually reluctant accomplices in all the evils that the central government commits? Should we automatically be putting them on a pedestal, coddling them, protecting them from the central government, or is there maybe a case to be made for just going forward with weakening the government? Obviously, there are a thousand ways to do that. I mean, I say, I mean, financially weakening it. There are a lot of, uh, at least technically peaceable ways that you can do that. I've, I've witnessed it in court when, I, when I've been to federal court and watched just, you know, relatively average people really gum up the system in there with lawsuits and, and stuff like that. I mean, making these judges earn their pay, tying up political parties with almost no expense. I couldn't, you know, it's too hard to make the ethical call for me to want to go do that kind of thing, but I'm reluctant to condemn it. 
It's just, it's an ethical question that should be thrown out there. And I don't know if I'm articulating it, articulating it as simply as I probably should, but I think the idea should be thrown out there and I hope more of you will discuss it because I don't, I don't really have my mind fully wrapped around it yet. For now, I guess we should call it the weakening government through expense question. LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.